We're delighted to be joined today by John Pagano. He is the Henricus Historical Park Historical Interpretation Supervisor. It is great to see you, John. We're used to seeing you in studio, but thank you for welcoming us into the Educational Center there at Henricus Historical Park. Yeah, no problem. This is kind of like our, our, our new version of a studio, so here we are. That's right. We're we're going and and on field trips every day, visiting people where they are. It's good to see you. And I know Henricus reopened in the beginning part of June. Well, here it is October. And so, how have visits been going? I know you're happy to see people back and and uh, taking it all in. Yeah, we we've been open since early June. Our visitation's been comparable to other years. We, you know, we're an open air living history museum. So for our adjustments to COVID um, uh, safety, uh, we pretty much have all that um, ironed out and our public has received it very well. And uh, we're carrying on with most of the same stuff we do. Uh, we are interactives, which we kind of do with our hands and stuff we give to people, we kind of cut back on. But most people come here, walk through the site, we engage them and they come away with a, a happy feeling that they were in a safe place and got history all at the same time. That's right. And it's a beautiful spot to visit, you know, very close. You're right there in Chesterfield County. And just so lovely, as you mentioned, the open air living history museum uniquely positioned really to welcome everybody back. And that's been going well. That's right. You know, if you've been here before, if you haven't been here before, um, you know, it's most people who come back just love being in the environment. And for the people that haven't been here before, it kind of um, overtakes them just how many buildings we have. Uh, the setting and the historical significance. So yeah, bring 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 yourself to our site. And now's the time to do it. We're well into October and your October events are underway. You've got so much happening at Henricus Historical Park right now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we wanted to go into our favorite um, time of year, which is the fall. Um, even when we had more school groups here, we're always kind of just taking all comers on whether it's schools or general visitors or programming or tours. Um, but when we, we think about Halloween and our All Hallows events, you know, we just wanted to um, not just do what we normally do, but we wanted to kind of dial it up a bit. We wanted to give people an option for things that they can do with the Halloween traditions. So we um, created a schedule that um, has a little bit for everybody uh, coming up in the next um, few days and weeks. It really does. And when I'm looking through the schedule, you've got everything from maybe what you would traditionally expect of things go bump in the night and there are spooky tours. And those range for from um, being appropriate for adults, even to uh, the young at heart, right? And, and kids. Yeah, absolutely. We, we have things that um, like, like today on Wednesdays, we have our kind of um, campfire all hollow stories, which are folklore stories that myself and my staff, we gauge to our audience's ages and interests. Um, but there's still really, you know, cool stories for Halloween. Um, and then of course we have our tours on Fridays. Uh, we might have some rain dates for those, but always check the website for um, adjustments. And, I think uh, we're, oh, sorry to get interrupt. I yeah. think we're all getting better with making sure that we're checking before we head out, but that's great words of wisdom too. Absolutely. Just go, go on the website and see if there's rain dates or time adjustments. But, uh, you know, Fridays we have uh, tours that, that might go on on Saturday too. But when you look at our events that we're doing, we're doing um, a movie nights, which are these classic black and white uh, stories from, uh, you know, 1922. And uh, I think one is uh, going to be more geared towards all audiences, which is the classic Washington Irving story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Um, and then the other is geared towards older audiences, probably teen ons up, which is uh, Haxim, which is kind of a story of, of witchcraft. It's, uh, those are kind of our movie night uh, fun things we're going to be showing outside on our uh, churchyard of all places, if you like creepy places at night. Uh, so when we look at those other things we're doing too, which is things that go bump in the night, yeah, you know, we're doing our, our nighttime walkthrough and seeing all those dramatic vignettes carried out. And uh, then the following um, uh, week, we're going to be doing, well, after those movie nights, we're going to be doing our witch event on Halloween, of all things on Halloween. So, um, and, and that's geared towards really all audiences too, but there'll be something for everybody at that Sunday um, or uh, Saturday witch event, sorry. Uh, and definitely go on the website and look for that information. 
Yeah, I think I'm I'm having trouble keeping up because there are so many things happening. We're almost out of time. Quickly, just tell me, John, History by the Pint series, that's happening too. And that will be very appealing to so many friends. Yeah, absolutely. That's another event that, you know, we 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 have this tradition here of putting on um, fairly fairly good and significant uh, beer events. Uh, certainly, you know, like Hops in the Park and those things. So we're trying to do smaller, safer, but equally fun versions of those events uh, where you can be on site getting the history, but also enjoying uh, an adult beverage as well. It's the perfect combination this time of year. And this is a great time of year to come out and, and savor really Henrikus Historical Park. John, thank you for making time. Absolutely. We, we, we really enjoy being with you. And uh, again, uh, come out and see us, check our website, And I'll look forward to having you all here. Absolutely. And we'll be sure to share all the information so that everyone can come out and enjoy Henrikus Historical Park. There are many events still happening the rest of October, including Friday's Ghost of Henrikus Tour. That's from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. And this weekend, get ready for Haunted Henrikus, things that go bump in the night. That's from 7 to 8.30 p.m. For a complete list of events at Henricus Historical Park, just visit henricus.org. Just these events, uh, you know, Henricus is such a special place. And uh, for folks who aren't familiar with it, uh, who may have been to Jamestown, it's very similar, but it's it's it seems more intimate to me when you go to Henricus. It's right there. You're right on it and you get to see it up close. Yeah, I think a lot of folks would probably maybe on first visit say, wow, I didn't realize this was here. And if you're going back for another visit, you're going back because it is so amazing. We were there with the girls a couple weeks ago uh, and had the chance to walk through because as John mentioned, you know, it's an open air museum. So you're outside. These beautiful fall days are perfect for this. And taking them through, their eyes were just so wide. And his team there who are part of the costumed uh, interpreters, are so approachable and thorough and really knew how to to talk with the kids and and engage them. It was really, really cool. So it's a a great activity. And then you add on all of these like seasonally appropriate Halloween-esque type of activities and it's a home run. Yeah, it was it was odd seeing John in a sports shirt and not that heavy <laughs> wool and like leather stuff that he wears normally. Uh, you know, it, it, it was he still stayed in character. He still had the hat, but it was kind of interesting to see without the, all the garb that he wears when he is in character. And boy, did they stay in character the whole time too? Yes, they do. I asked him one time. Which do you feel is more you? Are you more in the historical garb or like streetwear? And he said more the historical garb. I think he feels oh, yeah. different in the streetwear. <laughs> yeah. He feels like he's out of place. We're going to be right That's back right. at this place in just a minute. Stick around.